It's an opportunity to develop an interactive system, man environment, leading to sustainability in cultural, social, economic and ecological terms. Where eastern France meets southern Germany, you find a cross-border forest area, which is the largest uninterrupted forest in Western Europe, equivalent to the size of Luxembourg. On the French side, it's called Les Vosges du Nord, and on the German side, it's called Felserwald, and the cross-border forest area is today a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. A UNESCO Biosphere Reserve always consists of three different areas or zones. There is a core area with a very strict protection and a minimum of human interference. There is a buffer zone where we try to develop ecologically sound and sustainable ways of agriculture and forestry, for instance. And there is a so-called transition area, which is the biggest area, over 50% of the total, where people live. And there we try to develop, together with people, models of sustainable economic and social development. The Biosphere Reserve is a French-German cross-border protected area. The two nations cooperate on common goals within conservation and sustainable development. The French and the German partners, they have common goals and overall objectives for the transboundary biosphere reserves. Um, especially, just to give some examples, close to nature forestry, ecological agriculture, sustainable and ecologically sound tourism, last not least, the conservation of the diversity of species. Les Vosges du Nord, Felserwald Forest, is a place where man and nature have lived closely together for thousands of years, and to this day continue to do so. A focus point for the cross-border biosphere reserve is to communicate and promote the importance of sustainable development in the area. The overall goal is to achieve a complementary and mutually beneficial relationship between man and nature across the two countries. We do a lot of publicity about the Biosphere Reserve through different media so people can learn about what's so special about it and how they can live more sustainably in their everyday lives. We also do projects with schools, teaching children about the environment and sustainable development. We have a mosaic type of countryside in the Biosphere Reserve, that is a variation of small-scale grasslands, farmlands, vineyards and fruit orchards. We farm very closely to the protected nature area and this is why we get these high quality and great tasting products, which is also very important for the Biosphere Reserve. The food produced in the area is very popular among locals and visitors. Markets are frequently arranged for the small-scale local organic producers where they're given a space to promote and sell their products. Important partners for us are the local farmers and wine growers. We've set up certain criteria for the Biosphere Reserve, and for us it's important that they farm organically. We also go out and visit the businesses and try to move them in a direction of sustainable production. And subsequently they become official partners of the Biosphere Reserve.
Through our marketing activities, the local businesses, little by little, are transforming into more sustainable producers, and we've set the criteria for this. We try to encourage the businesses to go this way. We started with five partners, now we have 50. And what's important for us is that we work across borders together with the French partners and complete many projects with them. The Biosphere Reserve is also a very popular tourist destination for nature enthusiasts. We have a huge forest area, which typically attracts a lot of trekkers, and we have a well-established network of trekking trails, a high density of huts, and also lots of interesting mountain bike trails. To balance the pressure which is exerted by growing numbers of tourists and other kinds of resource users and people who utilize the area, is a big challenge and it's not very easy. We try to um, tackle this problem by developing a sophisticated system of visitor management, which means certain areas um, have to be respected as no-go areas. At the same time, we have lots of areas where people can go to. They can uh, walk on hiking tracks. The overall objective should be that people understand each other much better, Germans and French. They come together, they build confidence, and together they develop models of sustainable development in close conjunction with nature conservation and social and cultural diversity.